Hey what's up everyone, this is Trevor with FX Editing and I got another little tutorial for you. We're going to show you how to create a nice quick little blur. Um, you can use this technique to blur anything you want and it's really fast, a lot faster than the NLEs like Avid and Premiere do. So let's go to Safari, let's go to Shutterstock and uh, we'll change this to footage. This is just so that you guys are working with the same footage as me. Say young, dating, happy, couple. I went and found this shot earlier, so I know that it exists. We're gonna pull this one here, dating young couple happy in love taking a picture. Uh, click it. If you To download it, you have to just create an account with Shutterstock, which is free. Um, and then you just download it, and it'll download it to your thing. Uh, and then you can close out of Safari. And then I'll just wait for you to do that real quick and get situated. You can pause the video and okay. Uh, so now what we want to do is we're just going to drag it into our project. And then here's, an, here's a fun little tip too that I haven't covered in any other tutorials. I'll do it again. If you click and drag your footage onto the composition button down here, um, it'll highlight and you can create a comp with the settings of the footage that you have. So click and drag, boom, composition's set to your footage. Same codec and everything, same frame rate. So what we want to do is, just to show you how powerful this is, just before he starts turning his face. So he turns his face here and looks at her. So we'll start here. You can hit B to move your trim, to move your uh, timeline trim up to the beginning, and then come up to composition, trim comp to work area. And that way, if you hit zero, we have this nice animation where he looks at the phone with her, they laugh, oh, such great acting. Um, we're going to blur his face, and uh, it's super, super simple. Um, Reminder, this is actually just the most recent versions of After Effects. I believe it started in CC, so if you're using something like After Effects 3, you should probably upgrade anyway because that is some outdated shit. Anyway, we're going to click our layer, and we're going to select our mask creating tool, the pen tool, which the shortcut is also G. It's up here, it's this little pen tool. And then we're just going to draw a mask around his face. You click once, it creates one mask point. And if you click and drag, it will let you um, create a curvy line with your mask. So you can click and drag, and you can just keep clicking and dragging. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of want to create a mask around the contour of what's visible on his face. Go up her hair here. Go up into his hair a little bit. And that's our mask. And once you close it, once you get to the first point, it'll have a little circle, and then that'll allow you to close the mask out. Um, okay, so now that we have that, you can go back to your arrow tool, which is V. Now, what we want to do is hit M, as in mask, on with your layer selected to reveal your mask and its path. And we're going to right-click mask and say track mask. And then over here under method, down here on the bottom right, we are going to select face tracking outline only. Um, a lot of these uh, will work for different reasons. Uh, detailed features will actually give you control points for the facial features, which is really great for some other things. But right now, we're just going to face track the outline of his face. And then all you have to do is press selected masks forward, which is just a little play button. And it will motion track his face. And then we're set. Okay, so now his face is masked out. Now all we have to do is create a new adjustment layer. So layer, new, adjustment layer. And then we want to select your mask. We want to be, you want to be at the beginning of the timeline. Uh, and then select your mask, and then cut it out of this footage. So Command X, and then select your adjustment layer, and paste it on, Command V. Now your mask is on the adjustment layer. And what that does is it lets us put a filter on the adjustment layer and it will only be within the area of this mask. So over in effects and presets, I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you how to do a blur. So if you type fast blur, uh, you can drag it on or you could double click it. Um, and all you want to do is just click and drag your blurriness to your desired effect. So if you don't want to see anything, you could do that. Uh, and then 
also a smart move is to deactivate the mask view now that it's all set and you don't need to touch it anymore just so you can see the full edges. Um, you typically don't want to have these hard edges on a blur. You want it to kind of blend in with the footage. So what you want to do is hit M two times to reveal all of the properties under the mask because we're going to affect some of these. So um, feather is how the edges of the mask how feathered out, how soft they are. So if you do that, it softens them out. And then opacity is how much you want visible inside of the mask. So if you have zero, then you don't see anything. And then expansion is bringing it in and out. So you can lower it or expand it, which we're actually gonna do later. So right now, if you just preview it with zero, it's great. Now, here at the end, the side of his face starts to show and some shows definitely don't want that visible. So what you do is right around here where his face is still covered, you create a keyframe on mask expansion, and then right where his face starts to be visible, you want to expand it out a little bit. And then you can expand it out a little bit more if you want that nose to be covered. And you can tweak it however you want, but that essentially keeps his face covered and you didn't really have to do anything by hand. It takes like three seconds. Uh, but you know, have fun with that. And then if your show doesn't want to um, have a blur and they want a mosaic, you can hide this fast blur right now. If you want to hide effects on something also, you can uh, click this little effects button and it'll disable them. Uh, and then up here we can type mosaic. A lot of shows like to use mosaics, um, and you can set it to it'll. The number will vary depending on the quality of your footage, but we set them to 50 each, and it's the same mask. Check it out, guys! Totally covered up. There you go. Nice, quick, easy little tutorial. Um, so play around with it and have fun. See you next time.